In this video, I'm going to talk about the Nikkor AFS 70 to 300 f4.5 to 5.6 VR. I've had this for a bit over two years and used it for wildlife. This lens is quite lightweight, about 740 kilograms, which is half of a Nikon 80 to 400 lens. The fact that this is a lightweight lens is quite good because then it takes up little space in a backpack. The lens feels solid, it is very good and compact, although much of it consists of plastic. In my opinion, perhaps the manual focus ring is a bit thin and uh, too close to the camera body. It has a filter size of 67 millimeters. With the Nikkor 70 to 300, you also get this lens hood supplied. It seems quite solid and great, and it does protect the glass. Although I still recommend using uh, UV filters. I use UV filters on all of my lenses because the main glass on the lens is the most vulnerable spot on the lens. So on the side on the lens, we have a manual to auto switch uh, and a VR function. The VR on this lens is quite good. Uh, I do not use a tripod when I use this lens and I am using it for wildlife. The VR does a good job, I think. But it is important to turn off your VR if you uh, were supposed to use a tripod because then the function is not longer required and it takes longer to focus. Uh, but in my case the VR is only on, on because I never use a tripod uh, with, this, with this lens. And underneath we have a normal to active switch. You mainly use the active mode when you're taking photos of moving subjects such as birds, cars or sports but also if you're taking pictures of still objects but you are moving for example from a boat or a car you use the normal mode when you are taking still photos for example of, uh, uh, of uh, buildings or portraits The Nikkor 70 to 300 has uh, surprisingly a, a good optic quality in the range of 70 to 200 millimeters. Uh, you can see on this image here of a turn where I have used a range of 200 millimeters. If we compare the previous image to this one, where that has a 300 millimeter range, you can see in the corner it is more, it is more blurry and the image has less quality. If we compare the images side by side, you can see the image underneath uh, that has a 200 millimeter range. Uh, that image is basically sharper overall compared to the 300 millimeter image. Uh, the details on the rock is much better and the bird itself is sharper around the head uh, and the body and the details on the feathers you can see uh, more clearly. So I recommend if you are close enough to the subject to use the 200 millimeter range or less and then crop down the image if you want to get closer to the subject on your computer instead of uh, zooming all the way in and use the 300 millimeter range. But don't get me wrong, you can still get some quite stunning and sharp Im images uh, while zooming all the way in and using the 300mm range. At a 300mm range with f5.6 
on the 70 to 300. Uh, the image quality is quite sharp in the middle of the frame, but sadly a little softer and lower quality in the corners. Uh, so I recommend to use this lens only on DX camera bodies. Not only because there are more zoom on the DX bodies, but because it gets blurry in the corners, even on a DX sensor and on an FX camera. Will not only the corners in the image be blurred, but more in the frame because the FX image sensor have larger photo frame compared to the DX camera. To get the sharpest images with this lens, you should have an f stop on f7 or f8. ISO under 500 and the shutter speed that it's at least over 1 500th of a second. I personally like to shoot on shutter speed with 1 640th all the way to 1 1000th of a second. The autofocus on the 70 to 300 is pretty good. It is an AFS lens, which means it has a faster autofocus than any only AF lenses such as the A such as the 80 to 400 Nikon. You can see how fast the autofocus is right here. From infinity and back. This is a great lens. It has a very good price and it is a good product and a wise investment. Uh, I am very happy with this lens. I have had it for two years and used it mainly for wildlife but also for other types of photography. Uh, the bad thing about this lens is that it can take uh, 1.4 or 1.7 telecommitters but still 300mm is a great zoom and I do recommend this lens.